In this episode, we hit the road to Botswana and we make it all about the journey. We run into some troubles and, as usual, we eat like kings. Good morning guys, super excited. Niku just dropped off his Toyota Prado 150 series for all of his fitments. Getting ready for the Botswana trip up next week. So everybody is now getting all of the small details sorted. Niku's 150 is dead standard, so a lot of accessories coming his vehicle's way. Um, he opt for the Bundu top rooftop tent, the quick pitch awning, quick pitch kitchen unit, national lunar fridge, and also the dual battery system. Um, he just came back from a hunting trip and his vehicle is dirty. Sis, sis, Nico, sis. <laughs> but um, I think all of the accessories is not just going to be good for him for the overlanding, but also for hunting trips and fishing trips that he also do love. So, Nico, let's see what we're going to do with this part of yours. Passport is raag. Passport is raag. is raag. Thanks, Evans. Yep. Wat nog? Ik heb nog net um, in de cruiser melk zit, een brood, en dan nog cappuccino. Wel, well, cappuccino replies, zoals niet meer. Oh, en onze is ready. Het is kanaal hakken, Brian. Ik zou ook zeggen. Let's do this thing. Kerk pak. Wat is veel poesie? Oh, dit is raag. Dit is poises. Dit is Dit is Dit is Jij gaat voor hij nee. Hij heet zijn radio. So the, uh, we, we're hitting the road now, first stop tonight is Moriti Bush Camp, it's just in front of the border post. Um, it is about 350 kilometers uh, up to there and then uh, we're sleeping over there, like close to the Lepopo River, uh, actually on top of the Lepopo River and then the next morning, tomorrow morning early, we're hitting the road again 
first stop I'll pay to fill up some of uh, some stock that we're not buying here in South Africa to take over the border so then we buy there in Palapay filling up the fuel tanks again and then first stop in Botswana is Como um, looking forward to that stop as well it's always a lovely campsite there big massive campsites uh, under this massive tree um, yeah Botswana, Botswana here we come okay so we have a first stop here um, we shall ask to stop here by Lilies and Lime. It's a farm store. Um, there's legendary jam. Um, some people know it's a jelly um, here to buy. So um, we're quickly having a stop, being a wee, buying some jam, and then we hit the road again. Yerlke gebak is a jong. Dat was kan een koffie krijgen. Ik eet bovenop voor die eetpak. Met een saaike. Ja. Nice cream cheese and basil pesto being mixed up here by Liffy. Hello Liffy. Okay, so sono puppe, bacon. We're gonna caramelize the uh, onions now. Then we have some mushrooms spiced and uh, baby spinach leaves on that side. Except for Asia, who's allergic to green leaves. How was the stay at Moriti? Pleasant. Really, really nice. Good sight. Nice bird life. Tried to do some fishing. Fishing is always good even if you don't catch anything, but it's good. Um, campfire was awesome. Company even better. First time sleeping in our clam shell. Um, it was very easy to pitch. What did you do just now? Need my feet for the back enclosure. Foot, Foot and mouth disease. Foot and mouth disease. Wishy washy, wishy washy. And then there you drive through with your tires. We in Botswana, and uh, I think it was truly a good idea to do the Stockport border post instead of Roblesbrug. 
uh, it was a quick crossing and when we were there, the one guy said uh, it's actually living in Botswana, that Grobelsberg is ridiculous, it's about three hours for him this morning. Uh, so he went that side and came back, um, so yeah, I think that was a great idea. Now all the way to Kama, first stop Palapai, uh, stocking up on some meat and some drinks and then heading from Kama, we'll be there if all goes well on about two or half past two. Malapai to Malapai. Uh, reason being is there's a nice gravel road now to Kama from here. Um, you guys can have a look at me in Botswana. In this little town, there's like everything. There's a shop right, a chop piece, a wool where it's uh, the brai place. You see, two words in English: brai, not barbecue, brai, and lacquer. You English guys can learn that. That's the best thing to do. Yeah. It also has a filling station, um, all the major banks, all the South African banks, um, a and nice stop. Those. Yeah, very, very nice stop on your way. Yeah. No proper stop. We made it just in time. Um, there is a cut off time for sunset drives here yeah. in the Kama Rhino Sanctuary. And uh, we came here to the pans, and then we've got a humbling experience now with uh, Ishamas to count. So almost eight, nine rhinos. So um, it's not so many times that you get this privilege of being a presence of presence of so many rhinos anymore. So um, humbling experience for me. I'm gonna capture it on a bit of a camera.
Du Charlie, was gut okay für uns? Ich mag für uns lecker Beef Stroganoff. Beef Stroganoff. Ja. Das ist Mushrooms im Beef. Und Pasta. Und Pasta. Und ich komme bald noch in. Ja, ich denke, das ist ein Secret Recipe da. Lecker. Lekker room, koos, jylle, dit gaan lekker wees. Good morning guys, uh, early morning for us, uh, heading a long road to Naun this morning. So uh, already packed up, going to heat the breakfast quickly and then uh, brush on teeth and then hitting the road. So, um, the tire seems to be okay. I think it's going to sure. eat us into man. <laughs> so, Compressor is close enough though. <laughs> yeah, glass off. Yesterday, while driving on the main road, we hit something and it caused damage to the side wall of the front tire. We did a temporary fix so that we can get to a mound without putting on the spare wheel because we will definitely need a new tire. Boys, take your girls with on these trips. Their tools is quite handy for small little jobs. Small jobs. I say, let's see if it works. Yeah, but you'll have to inflate the wheel first. Hallo. Hallo. Wat zo'n is het jij gewoon? Um, vruchten met yoghurt en jarel. Lekker, kom eens kijken. Kom eens kijken. Mooi koos. Je ziet nee. Wat kan gor mij koos nou? Ik zie jou. On our way? Zeg eerst sorry, mijn liefje. Okay, my wife, she shouted at me again today because I forgot the extra fan belt. We don't need it currently, but she's shouting me already. I don't know why. We're on our way to Mount now. I live in Kalma, everything is packed and sorted. Uh, like a sandy road here in, uh, in Kalma. So, here and there need to deflate actually just make the drive easier and then uh, of course also clever me drove in here lacquer lacquer forgot to put in 4x4 uh, only a 4x2 and I hit a uh, lacquer like sandy patch and then I got stuck and I can't understand why and I'm moving forward and back but I can't even go back and then it struck me then I'm not engaged uh, yeah 4x4 mode lacquer then drive is quite easy um, long drive ahead, about six hours drive. Uh, we hope it's only six hours because here and there, um, well not here and there, everywhere in Botswana you need to keep your, actually everywhere in the world you need to keep your speed limit, but um, it's important to keep your speed limit and sometimes you get stuck behind a couple of trucks and these guys are driving in Botswana quite hectic. Um, so when you drive, be careful. Yeah, looking forward to a campsite tonight again. And then from there we into the Muremi Kwai. I'm 
ja keine Auto mit aufgelassen. So we're getting a flat tire. Or we did get it yesterday and that's why I ordered it last. Still two and a half hours from Mount. So uh, quickly putting up the spare. Yeah. Anything can go wrong. A little bit of that. Anything can go wrong on a trip. And uh, the important part is the traveling part you have. Uh, the guys is going. Hey, guys and girls. Guys and girls. So it goes with you on a trip. Is um, the right type of people. People. Yeah. Stop. Delete. Stop. Stop. Delete. So we are from South Africa. It, uh, just to get us into Mount. Um, on the way I saw the tire pressure again dropped. Um, very important or a very nice tool to have is a tire pressure monitoring kit. Um, there's a couple of them on the market, steel made and all of them. Um, it just gives you the heads up if a tire is on its way out. Um, so what, happen, what will happen is um, 9 out of 10 times when it's not a cycle damage, for instance, it's a normal puncher. You can sort of plug it on the, wheel, uh, on the car while the wheel is still on the car and just pump it up and there you go again. So then you don't have to always use a spare wheel. Um, this time around we tried to fix the sidewall just to get us into mound. So we still have a spare at least. Um, got us about 200, 250 k's and then it said, sorry but not going any further. Our slogan after I put grond put memories, meaning turn off road, gravel road, making memories has just actually happened again. Uh, the road we hit here is a corrugation of none. So uh, if you have any loose teeth, keep it in your mouth, eggs, make sure stack properly, everything because it's going to rattle. Everything that is not tight properly is going to come loose. Thank you. Oh. So here is our stand by a uh, algemene commerciale campsite. Um, we are from Crocodile River Camp or Spa. En allemaal pak kamp op mijn koersen stoepen, zodat so het niet als jij nou alleen wil kampen en die natuur kan wil genieten, is dit niet de plek om te kampen. Nie. Maar als een stap over waar je niet kan komen vannacht stop, is je privaat ablissie met een wasbak, twee toiletten en een shower. Moet alsjeblieft niet in iemand anders dan gaan niet en dan rok verschrikkelijk ontstoken. Maar not so shabby, this is okay, this is good, this is nice. and it is a stop or a path going to.